Today's sponsor is SquareX.com. Detect, mitigate, and threat hunt. For the ultimate in browser detection and response, visit them today at SquareX.com. In this episode, we're talking the latest news, tips, and tricks coming out of Microsoft 365. And in addition, we're looking at Instant Ink, the subscription ink service from HP, and ask, is it really worth the money? And finally, Centro 365, the amazing free browser add-on that every 365 admin needs to have. So stay tuned, you're going to learn something. Hi there, Andy here. So nice to see you and a warm welcome to the channel. Today we're talking all things Microsoft 365. We'll look at the latest news. We'll talk about some tips and tricks that'll make your life a little bit easier. And we're also talking about subscriptions. Now with subscriptions, you may have gone crazy with subscriptions. Certainly Microsoft seems to have. Uh, with its Copilot add-ons, with its advanced feature add-ons, with plus, 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 uh, you know, some customers are starting to kind of hit that $100 a month ceiling on 365. In addition, it's not just Microsoft that are getting in on the bandwagon. Other companies like HP are also jumping on it as well with their Instant Ink solution. This is where you can subscribe and you get Instant Ink. So as much ink as you can consume. Uh, on top of that, you also get paper along with the subscription. Sounds like a good idea, you say. But what happens when you stop the subscription and things just stop working? And also, is it everything it's meant to be? When you consider that you can rush out and you can buy a ream of A4 paper for, what, 250 you got to ask, is it actually worth it? So we're going to talk about some of the controversies that that brings. Uh, also on today's episode, I'm looking at Centra 365, the amazing browser add-on, which is absolutely free, no catches. If you're a 365 admin, believe me, you need this tool. We're going to talk about how to install it, configure it, and more importantly, what it can do for you. So without any further ado, I think we'll jump in and we'll take a look, first of all, at this week's news. While not being shy of controversy, Microsoft continues its journey into Microsoft Copilot. So much so that they've rebranded the Microsoft 365 uh, portal um, and it now says, Welcome to Microsoft 365 Copilot. Hey, wait a minute, I don't have Microsoft 365 Copilot. Aha, but they're getting you ready for when you make that big, big decision and you actually go for it. But needless to say, the only thing that's changed here is the name. Simply go into the portal, and if you're not using Copilot, of course, you can use the search features just as normal. If you haven't subscribed to Copilot, though, you will need to do uh, that subscription. Now, in addition to that, another little piece of news can be found here in Microsoft Purview. Uh, and again, interestingly enough, we now have a number of new features. Currently in preview is the data security posture management. Again, another kind of co-pilot kind of engineered tool. The other one is data posture management uh, for AI. Uh, and basically, these two uh, little tools essentially make sure uh, you're in a good place uh, to move to and or adopt Microsoft Copilot. So this is the new data security posture management. And this is it in all of its glory. As you can see, it again uh, expects you to be integrated with Microsoft Copilot. And in, a, in actual fact, it actually provides some Copilot options here as well. It also makes some recommendations and it also provides you with a score. So again, a posture management score, somewhat similar to the posture management uh, in Microsoft Endpoint Manager, Defender for Endpoint. Um, but you can see here, it makes a number of uh, recommendations based on that posture management. Again, typically, um, a, you know, if you're using things like adaptive protection, which you would actually be using in terms of Microsoft Copilot. 
But there are quite a number of different reports that you can look at for both SharePoint, OneDrive, Teams, uh, as well as Microsoft uh, Exchange. And again, I can say, yep, I want to go ahead. And it's looking for potentially unprotected sensitive data here. And you can see it gives you an idea of kind of how many unprotected assets that you've got. You can drill into that and you can see it shows you the type of sensitive data that it's actually missing. Now, although this tool is really nice, I do feel that some of the reports that it's producing um, are already available in Microsoft Purview. And I sent a little bit of repetition on the part of Microsoft here. But needless to say, it's now in public preview, so go ahead uh, and check it out. One particular tool that I do currently like, and this is currently in public preview, is the new data assessments feature, which you can find in the Data Security Protection Manager for AI. Now in here, you can see I can go ahead, I can create an assessment here, and I'm just going to say next. You can include specific users and groups, or you can just blanket it and say absolutely everyone. And what this does is it's looking for various data sources. Now, as it's currently in preview, it's only available with SharePoint at the moment. I can only assume that eventually it will talk to various connectors in Microsoft Purview, as well as the other features in Microsoft 365. So once you've done the review, off it goes, and it will run that scan. And it can take a little while, obviously, to run the scan, depending on uh, what's involved with that. But once you've got the uh, scan, the details, you can then come in. So here's one I kind of made earlier, and it gives you a kind of nice report, and it would let you know if there is any data available or any, um, any, any oversharing. And it also makes some quite nice recommendations as well. But it is quite a nice tool, again, now available in public preview. So if you've ever tried to offboard devices from Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Azure, you'll know that it's a little bit challenging. Well, onboarding devices is super simple. Well, I'm delighted to say that now in public preview is the device offboarding manager. It runs with PowerShell running underneath. So you'll need to open a PowerShell module. The full details of this is available on the powershellgallery.com. So go ahead and check it out. But it has some pretty nifty features which will make uninstalling and removing devices from your infrastructure Super simple. Check it out today. Very quickly, just moving on to identity and authentication methods. Uh, if you go into the protection tab in Enter ID and come into uh, authentication strengths, uh, you can now see that you can use QR codes. Um, this is currently being rolled out as part of Microsoft 365 and Entra ID. So QR codes joins the authentication strengths and authentication methods uh, family in Microsoft 365. Just a quick note here, staying in Entra ID, and if you're one of the many, many people who uses Entra ID Connect or Cloud Sync, then you'll notice that we have a new feature. Um, you can now log in using email as an alternate ID. So just in the portal, you just simply click on the little checkbox that says use an email address as an alternate ID form. I'm going to be covering this in a future session, so watch out for more. Yeah. Now, if you're like me, you love subscriptions. We subscribe to everything from Netflix to Hulu to Spotify to YouTube to Microsoft 365, all the add-ons. Well, it seems that one of the most popular ones, certainly in the US, is HP's Instant Ink. The idea is simple. You have a HP printer and you can have as much ink as you want. Well, to a point. Um, there are different programs, again, depending on how much ink you use. Um, the key thing is you recycle the packages, you send them back to HP, and the idea is that you should typically never run out of ink. There are a number of plans you can see starting at a mere 149 per month. And again, it really depends on the amount of ink and the amount of paper that you're using, which brings me to another point. If you don't have paper, no problem. They can also bundle paper with the subscription as well. Now, just a couple of things that you should know about Instant Ink. It uses special cartridges. So these are different cartridges that you would typically go and buy in the likes of Best Buy or um, 
you know, your local tech store. These are subscription cartridges, which essentially means if you stop paying the subscription, they stop printing. You would need to take the subscription out, reset the printer, and go out again and purchase new cartridges. So even if the cartridge is half empty, it won't let you finish. Now, if you scroll right down to the bottom of the page, there are quite a lengthy list of disclaimers, um, and it's definitely worth taking a look at some of these. Now, um, so never run out of paper. Again, it will also include HP paper, but come on, uh, HP, you know, considering it, you, you can buy a ream of paper for 250 mm, Is it really something that people are going to take on board? So again, sounds like a great idea. Um, the ink ships when it automatically tech detects that the ink is low. That's a key thing, by the way, just uh, in terms of requirements, you need to have a HP printer of less than five years of age. It needs to be able to connect to the internet because of course it talks directly with HP. But there you go. Um, I'm not sure about it. If you've had experience of it, I'd love to know uh, what you think. Are you giving it a thumbs up or are you giving it a thumbs down? There you go, HP Instant. Okay, one of my favorite features uh, and certainly favorite uh, extensions is Centra. So now Centra 365 is a totally free add-on. Simply browse for it on the web, install the extension and just accept terms and conditions and then you're basically pretty much good to go. So once you've clicked into it, then just simply head over into your Microsoft 365 account and then uh, switch on the browser extension. Let's take a look. So once installed, super easy to work with, simply come into the Microsoft 365 portal. Now, I don't know about you, but if you're anything like me, there are so many different portals within portals within Microsoft 365 that it's really hard to find your way around. Well, this is where Centra 365 really comes in. You'll see that the extension is placed in there and you can see that everything is in different categories. So it literally pulls in every single application, every single service. In fact, there's over 600 different links here. Uh, now, of course, you know, you might not be using all of those services, but you might want to customize for the ones that you are actually using. And you can see there are literally loads of things here that you could use. So one of the first things that you're going to want to do is you're going to probably want to kind of say, hey, you know, I want to kind of restrict this or cut out things that I'm not really using. So just by going into the little gear icon on the top right hand corner, for example, in this case, I'm not using Microsoft Lighthouse. Now, the other thing that you can do as well as customizing the sidebar, uh, you can also edit the sidebar as well. You can add things to it. You can also choose your search style. You can edit your favorites and you can also sync your settings. So if you're using multiple browsers or on multiple systems, for example. So once you've done that, I'm simply going to come back to the home option. Uh, you've also got the favorites bar here, and as you can see, I can easily come in and customize my favorites, and you can see I've got a couple here already. So you just simply copy and paste the URL of the browser, and you can have a number of these. In fact, you can have up to 10 uh, uh, links there if you want to. So again, super easy to use. So one of the things I absolutely love is that, of course, Microsoft 365, because it has so many menus within menus, it's really difficult to find your way around. So everything here can be customized. So, and again, getting to an item is super simple. So I wanna to jump to the active users, instantly uh, takes me to that page. So um, if you are a Microsoft 365 admin, uh, folks, you really need to get this extension, install it. It will save you so much time, really. Well. So there you have it, a quick update with what's new and cool in Microsoft 365, plus a little controversy with HP and Centra 365. I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. And if you've got any questions or comments, as always, get those down below. I'd love to hear from you. All right, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. 
here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.